Right, here we go then. Straight back into it. Let's suss this out. I think we're gonna have to get to the front of the queue, oh, aren't we? My feet are Is this really the foundation sore. of the, the house or something? I, I thought only Satan lived here. Well, yeah, now, but back in the day, this place used to be the fucking Grover's Corners in nowhere. Yeah, it wasn't just Satan. His fallen angel pals and him used to have the whole block. Why'd they move? Eh, some folks just like switching up the zip code every thousand years. Who knows? So that's that's not the fucking hell. This queue is massive. This is the line to get into Satan's party, right? None other. Uh, where's your sleeping bag and coffee pot? Hold it! Come on, guys. There's got to be some faster way. Haven't any of you seen Adventures in Babysitting? If a bunch of white fourth graders can get into a jazz club, here's a faster way, definitely. We see people cut through every night. Some people. Let's just keep on. Maybe we can convince whoever's at the door to let us in. I mean, we don't even want to like party. We just want to out drink Satan. Bada bing, bada boom. It'll take like ten minutes. <sighs> All right, let's try it. Well, the only. Tr only option we've got is this lift. Maybe he can just take us straight to the top as long as I bet you're gonna to have to do something for him. Um, hello? Hi, I'm Gooseneck. I'll be your first floor carriage for the evening. It's the only way up. Unless you somehow smuggled in rock climbing gear. Fuck yeah. Ah, uh, yes. As long as this is uh, Hell's version of an elevator and not, you know, someone's gonna like <laughs> mutilate us. Oh. Heavens no, but I can understand the concern, seeing where we are and all. Don't, don't hit, hit your head there. Great, good. You're doing so well. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry, it's a little bumpy. I had quesadillas this morning. Second floor, dish mops, hand towels, and segregated washrooms. Just kidding. This obviously isn't a department store from the 40s. You're in hell. So it didn't take us to the front of the queue, just halfway off, okay. What time is it? A half hour after you asked me the last time. I mean, how long have we been standing here, jackass? Or ruins. You know, I'm surprised the devil would let anybody live on his property. You'd think he'd want Zanzibar all for himself. Oh no, quite the contrary. From what I've heard, Satan's a real people person, you know? Yeah, but didn't him and his friends have some kind of falling out? Maybe they just got sick of the line. To be honest, is there anything worse than queuing? Like, there's times when I've went shopping for something for like someone's birthday or a, a birthday card and there's been a queue so I just didn't fucking get it. <laughs> Sorry, I don't do queuing whatsoever. If there's more than one person in the line and that person isn't already being served, ah, fuck, I'm not shopping there. Sorry, don't do it. Not my cup of tea. How tall is this place Hi, like? We'd like to... Look, lady, just because I'm a demon in hell doesn't automatically mean I'm going to mutilate you. Heaven forbid. Do you cross the street when you see a Gorgon carrying the groceries too? Listen, just just oh. take us up. I'm sick what? of hearing no. your shit. Just take yeah, us yeah, up. Yeah, just take us up one, okay? Hop aboard, Slim Jims. Two up, doors closing. Oh, all right. Take, take, it, take it easy. I can't control the weather patterns, ma'am, and turbulence accounts for only 2% of falls. Third floor, everybody out. Why doesn't everybody else use the lift? Because we seem to be cutting right in line here. Like a boss. Hey, so this Ferris wheel for my nightmares looks like it's seen better days. Maybe turning the island into a horrifying amusement park scared Satan's neighbors away? Nah. They used to die for this shit. Then why'd they move? What was the falling out? As long as it keeps the foot traffic away. Don't know, don't care. I thought they had something interesting to say, but they said fuck all, mate. Hey, yeah. Uh, can we, uh. Yeah, yeah, I'll take you up. Don't have any time to learn nothing about somebody, I guess. No, no, no. We. We don't. Let's just hurry you along before I accidentally mutilate. Because apparently that's all we demons are good for, mutilating. Okay, we, we're getting a little in the weeds here. Hey, I'm just doing my job. I don't give a damn what you all think. I can tell. Let's say we're sorry. Please, just, we just want to get to Satan's. Uh, is it close? Almost there. But uh, watch the attitude. 
Sometimes our claws slip if we're not feeling the vibe. Cage is in motion. Headed up. I didn't people. actually see anything there. I, I missed the, the prompt. Oh, why didn't Satan just make more stairs? Because Satan likes to keep demons employed. That's why. Oh, well, at least he's, he's, he's uh, for the, the people. Out. For the employed. So I'm not sure if that demon is the same demon. And he just appears in different places. Uh, ha hello. Hi, I'm Ballister, your fourth floor carriage. Oh, no, the other are actually different. Great, great. That's, yes, thank you. Hell, I'm making a mountain out of a molehill about this elevator business like. Your, uh, associates seem a bit on edge tonight. Only the bottom and top floors have bathrooms. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, 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 look at the, look at the loading. It's getting a bit junky. Fifth floor, the tippity top. Zabulba, 616 Welkin Way. Everybody out! This looks important. Is this important? No. <laughs> it's not important at all. If, if, if we have to go back down by these elevators, eh, I'm not going to be best pleased. If we have to, like, have an item to get in or something. Oh, shit. Jerry, I, I mean, Terry. Bicker's blowing up. Ugolino has an extra invitation. Um, Who hasn't sorry, extra invitation? What's, what's bigger? It's the social media down here. Look at your phone. It comes pre-installed. Oh, that's what we've been saying. You get good info on what's going on in hell. Yeah, well, uh, what's the commercial say? Geotagged, user-specific. It's a nice way to distract from the perpetual torment. Or to just post pictures of your pets lying in sunlight. All right, cheers for the cool. tip. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, no problem. Now back at the line before I cut you. Hey, huh. it's Milo and Lola. Still on that mission to get out of hell, huh? I'll just be going into the party now with my special uh, VIP invitation. Aren't you coming? Oh wait, you can't. Are you tormenting us now? Oh, are you like tormenting us now or something? Yes, that is that is the idea. <laughs> See you inside. Uh, or not, cause you suck. Laugh at him, ladies. <laughs> well, screw that thing, Lola. Let's just check Bicker and find other people with a spare invite. Wait, how do we do that? Okay, cool. Look, here. There's, uh, I see two of them, and uh, we only need one. <sighs> Whatever. We'll take what we can get. There's, there's a demon who says he needs help apprehending someone. And a woman, Linda, who says she has an invite to give away. She just wants someone to get her a drink. This will be downright easy. Awesome. awesome. Let's get back to Sam and track down these fools. Right. I'm pressing that button and fuck all is happening. Well. Is this some sort of sick joke? The fucking button's not fucking working, mate. Pause menu. Well, the problem is the pause menu is not working. What the fuck? Whoa, whoa, don't do that. Cancel, cancel, cancel. The... Oh wait, there, right, I've got. To... For some reason, it doesn't work on the control pad. I've had to press tab on the keyboard. Okay, so what's this shit? Is this fast travel? Oh, okay. Anybody want to go to Satan's party tonight? One spare VIP ticket if you can help me catch somebody first come first serve. So there's that demon there. I think I saw him on the the second floor. Hey, Twip's got an extra invite to Luke's house jam. For anybody who wants to get your all pal Linda and Margarita. Right, let's look for these two guys. Two guys at the top. Haven't took any photos. Ah, oh, so this tells you what people are saying. Long came a spider who laid legs in laid eggs inside her. And now she's full of spiders. Wow. 
on this tells us oh this is pretty cool tells us all of our objectives get an invite from a demon named fella also the demons there or Linda's there right so who the fuck's Linda and I don't have a margarita so that means I can't wait there let's get some actual keyboard action on the go since I need to use it for the fucking menu stupid right can I fast travel here oh you can't Oh my god, I've got to go all the way. My, go my all god, this game. Or take the long way. Oh, take us to the bottom. All the way down. Express, oh, that's good, that's ride. good. You got it. Stay closing, going down. So was there not an express all the way to the top? Bruh. Bruh. Because what we could do is... We can just go and get a margarita cup from the, the shop. Do we have drinks? Are we even allowed drinks? Ah, oh, fuck this. Do I want, I want to go to the first island to find that demon? Taxi. So, all partied out? Normally people are more covered in blood and viscera. But far be it for me to tell you how to live. We didn't even get in. We didn't even get in. There's a line around the fucking world back there. Oh, we have a plan though. There's some people have invites and some people have uh, have spares. So, so you wanted to get invited to cut the line, yeah, I don't need the damn transcript. Whose tree do you want to shake first? There's a demon in uh, Bobbling Park. He says he needs help yeah. to help somebody. But there's also a human woman who just wants a drink. But we know so. it can't just be that. Or else it would have already been done. So. Ah, classic case of too many good ideas. It's a three years ball again. Guess you got some picking to do. We're going to do the demon. Yeah. Go. Let's do the demon guy. It sounds like he needs help. It'd be uh, it'd be nice to do something good at the same time, right? Maybe we're gonna track down a mass murderer or something. I'm kind of hoping it's not that, but yeah, sure. And this is the I thing, know, right? Looks like he works at the school. I wouldn't worry about it. But maybe I'm wrong. I usually am. What I'm thinking is the reason why I'm picking the demon is because the demons aren't necessarily bad. What's cool? There's but the humans that are here have done yeah, something bad the so they're less trustworthy like that's my logic what does that mean let's leave all the annoying questions still then too okay next up a blind park if you get me drift just because you're a demon doesn't mean you're bad but the humans that are oh, in hell for doing something so bad a, guarantees uh, they're bad here? yeah the nastron school of physical suffering and mental anguish go wildcats it's where demons learn how to hurt meat puppies like you most, uh, most effectively. More pertinent to your personal predicament, it looks like your little soon-to-be friend Fella works there in, uh, Bobline Park. It's also where you guys just, just were. If you remember, like, ten minutes ago? Wait, how are they? So, what is it like? What's Bobline Park like? You know, when people aren't being processed. It's just your typical college town. Every spring, the students dress the trees up and go carcasses. Every fall, the slime moat set on fire. Nothing too unusual. Picture South Bend, but without all the secret Nazis. I think at our school, they'd sometimes hang, like, socks from mailboxes. So, yeah, pretty similar. Identical. Radio, almost a bobble eye. Hold on to something. The, uh, the tides can be a little choppy coming in. Okay, uh, thanks for the info. Well, Merry fucking Christmas. And, uh, just remember that when you sign for the tip. Right, I'll tell you what's impressive. It's impressive that there's dialogue for everything, including going so to and from locations. You got processed here, remember? But yeah, at I the remember same remember time. That? When you were processed, 
Yes, I can see Lord it getting City. really get fucking like old when you just want to fast travel somewhere. All right. The guard post is up there, right above the bookstore. It's usually more busy on a what day is it? Where's the park? Tuesday? But you know, whatever. It's your story. The bookstores appears. I want the school though. I'll be honest. Now that we're actually. Yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Look, look, yeah, I'm trying to get out of here, but. Campus security. Hopefully, that's our guy on the phone. I need oh, this to guy here. Yeah. Um, pardon me. Shit, I, I gotta go. Two test humans escaped their pen. Okay, you two. I know the sacks smell bad, but you can't just. We're not. No. Are you fella? Because we're here for the spare invite to Satan's party. Your um, vicar post. Oh, that! Well, yeah, I'm, I'm the guy you want. Great. I'm Lola. This is Milo. Uh-huh. You look a little young. Ah, uh, random question. Were you the detectives on Earth? Yes. Most Killed definitely. Killed by a serial killer in a game of cat and mouse? <laughs> that was me. Yes, detectives. Very, very, uh, very good detectives. Well, I've never met a detective before, but you sure talk the talk. I just need a little help with a work thing. I'll, uh, I'll explain on the way. On the way to what? Feisties. The, uh... Well, they call it a sports bar, but... We've just been there. That's <laughs> where we started. It's a rat hole with six half-broken TVs and 20 IPAs. So a sports bar? Oh, sorry. We sort of skipped introductions. I'm Fella. I run campus security here at Nastron. The job's easy enough. Mostly catching example humans. The teachers use to show students where to shove cattle prods. Yeah, you, you, you needed but people to show them where to shove the cattle prods. Problem. That's like Some natural in life. Into hell, and the Anything phallic shaped automatically what? goes up the oh, yeah, these twenty something pre-med hey, the idiots Nastron school mascots, a a vacation lion and a she wolf. Hmm. Established at the onset of humanity's axial oh, age shit, what to about triggered? combat ignorance of the flabby creature's quickening development. I wonder if they let people take classes. That's enough. Anyway, oh, they're gonna start morning, talking shit Debbie again. I can't even get a word in edgeways in this outside. fucking game. <laughs> one too many. I've already checked the ground, so it's gotta be one of the folks at Feisty's. So why don't you just go in and get him? Or her? Cause these Waldos are tricky. They know what I look like now. I need someone on the inside. A human to pick him out. Hey, here we are. Before we go in, I've gone ahead and pre-prepared a backstory. A cover story, if you will. You two are blasphemers from the plain of burning sand. Come to try out their hot wings, and... I am, uh, well, self-explanatory, really. I'm your child. Your dead child you made with your bodies. While you were still living, of course, but you... You made me with sex. With your sexual organs. I think that's <laughs> how humans put it. Makes sense? That's, Everyone? It's, a, it's an you excellent plan. Your... Yeah, looking looking good. From here, at least. I uh, left my glasses at home. You look a bit but like this, to be honest. But not least, you should have a password, just in case things go wrong. and we have Sweaty to... bollocks. Like, uh... The falcon has left the nest. Oh my god, that is the <laughs> Not best. Really good at coming up with passwords. Ooh, ooh, what about what about the falcon has left the nest? Oh yeah, cool. That's uh, makes us sound like we're Georgian spies or something. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no, not that I can think of. You guys seem legit, though. Thanks for helping me out. Yeah, sure. We should like get a drink after this, right? We should hang out. Definitely. Um. To be entirely candid, it's been a slow period, socially speaking, for me. A lot of times I talk into my phone when it's not Yeah, on. sure. Why not? Sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay, well, we, we'll just we'll, we'll circle back on that one later. That's that's fine. Well, uh, whenever you're set. I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to go. Don't know what I'm doing, but I'm ready to go. Gotta look for Waldo's or something. Okay, so this is what this place looks like during normal hours? Yeah, this actually used to be a pretty cool dive bar called the Fowler's Snare. Got made into a feisties when the owner tried possessing a puzzle box and got stuck. They do make good cauliflower nuggets, but chain bars give me the fucking creeps. 
I'll meet you at the bar. We should get a drink first. Okay. What drink are we gonna have? Something that makes us fight. Let's get rowdy. Light it up. Holy shit. Felicio! Oh, shit. He's back. There's you in there. Oh, what the fuck, man? I repeat. The Falcon the is fuck? Left the nest. <laughs> You're already pulling the ripcord? We just got here. Yeah, well, I didn't know this disguise was so shoddy. Just, uh, you're detectives. You said so yourself. And why would you lie about something so trivial? Find the person that doesn't belong. I'll be, uh, I'll be right outside when you're done. Hey, Felicio, why are you dressed up like that, you big fucking weirdo? <laughs> uh. <laughs> that guy's called Felicio, what a fucking name. Hey, demon who sucks one off. Right, let's get a drink. We need to find someone that doesn't belong. Welcome to Feisties. Please notice and appreciate all of our playful doodads and shit on the walls. Now what are you pups in the mood for? Yeah, what do we have? Bang bang. So it's the same... Oh no, it's not the same stuff. We don't have the... The fighting one. Sports fanatic. This... Could be the one we need. Because if this gives us information on sports and we're in a sports bar, the person that stands out isn't going to know about sports and we can catch them out. Cheese ball. Usually hurts to drink. I don't. Cheese ball. I want to go for this one. Sports fanatic. Uh, I guess I'll have a uh, bang bang. One bang bang coming up. Well, I think the bar needs a little more sports. Fanaticism. I order a round of bang bangs. Right, come on then. I'll have the same. All right, all right. Attention, everybody. Look, I know finding ourselves in hell. It's a bit of a bummer. <laughs> Boo! I certainly wish Michelle and I could have gotten married before our party bus plummeted over that cliff, but let's not let our untimely deaths ruin what could still be the best bachelor's party of all time. Woo! All right, let's get to investigating. Uh, maybe we should talk to Charlie first. Let's sniff out the meddler, but it takes less than 10 minutes. <laughs> hey, after you. So we've been the girl this time. Yes, we are. Is who we're gonna chat to? Pete? Charlie! Charlie! Talk. Charlie! 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 Look, who I'm gonna chat with Pete first. All those drinks coming. I'm Lola, this is. Yeah, I'm Pete. What is it? What do you want? What? What? What is it? What? You're the cheater, aren't you? Oh, you're the goddamn cheater, aren't you? You know, I can, I can smell them from their jockeys a mile away. A cheater? What? Oh, my taxes? Sure. On alimony, maybe. On my current wife, of course. On my mistress, sometimes. <laughs> my second mistress, only every third Wednesday. I'm sorry. That mall Easter bunny told me I shouldn't lash out at people. The truth is, I'm not even supposed to be here. And uh, if it wasn't for Charlie, you know, I, I wouldn't be. Out with it. How'd you do it, huh? Self-asphyxiation? Those medical uh, pad things? I tried to drive the party bus with my erect penis. <laughs> um... Yeah. What? what a hero. I'm, I'm just failing to see the connection. I was just trying to make them laugh. But my cock isn't as good a steering tool as I was led to believe. Thank God Charlie doesn't remember I'm the one that crashed the bus. Due to your maple. Due to my pork sword, yes. Okay, but wait, hold the phone. You're not the guy who snuck into hell, though? You really died in the wreck? Listen, can you work with me on this? Can we... Let's make a deal, all right? If you're looking for somebody... I think I know who it is, but you can't tell anyone about my skin flute accidentally killing my best friend and almost everyone he likes. Sound fair? Okay yeah. then, yeah, yeah. Now what can you tell us? Okay, that Greg kid would be the first person I'd look into, but you didn't hear that from me. Right, I'm not sure if he's telling the truth or not, but let's find Greg. What's this guy's deal? Oh, Barry? Barry can never handle the sauce, so we always prank him. Honestly, I think the demons took it a little far this time. What with crucifying him onto a dartboard, but <laughs> funny's funny. <laughs> it's all this this drink isn't yeah, working how I thought fucking, it was gonna fucking. work. So I can only look at this guy. 
So, Reg, tell me again. How exactly did you become the unquestioned Grand Emperor of Earth? <laughs> oh, such a long story. My good friends Han, Indiana, and uh, Richard Kimball were like arrested by the uh, current, well, the previous uh, Grand Emperor. Richard Kimball is that? Law had been passed to prevent gerrymandering. And I is Richard Kimball the bloody Arnold Schwarzenegger from King Kindergarten of, Cop? Uh, oh, it's John Kimball. Ooh, right. Uh, excuse me, waitress. Could I have another, another martini? I am not a waitress. I'm also not a woman. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> oh, pardon me, ma'am. <laughs> you haven't been this twatted since the last work party at the sawmill. Sorry, I'm Eliza. Are you two uh, part of the groom to be's stag show? I'm not yes. sure who's part part of the party and who's um who's buying booze. You know. No, but we are. Where no, are you from? We're uh, auditing, but just because you brought it up. And now I don't have to. Where are you from? Yeah, actually, where are you from? I haven't seen you around. A little town north of Betton Strange called um, Solopia. Though you'd know it better as Shrewsbury. Man, it's gotten really loud over here, Rakshasas. <laughs> Do you want to maybe go somewhere a little more? I'm good. Yeah. It was nice meeting you. God damn it. Uh, well, that's my cue, losers. See you on the flip side. Yeah, it's getting... It's getting a little late. Does it get late here? I think I should probably... I should be heading out too. Oh shit, so is it not them? Or is it them? Crap, Loa. Both of them. They smell like we're gonna have an electrical fire. What does that mean? Ultra fishy. I told you to stop with those fucking obscure smell jokes. I'm not kidding you. Seriously though, Greg said he died of disease, but Pete still pointed them out to us. Double, but Eliza is acting really weird too, and nobody seems to know who she is. God, this is all reminding me of something. Ding, 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 ding! Distant memory bell! What could be ringing? Good question, Mary! Maybe it's when Lola was hall monitor, nervous about talking to the taller boys. Or maybe it's when she told on Cynthia Lackey when Cynthia cheated on her algebra test. There's a lot of possibilities here. <laughs> it's hard to pick just one. Double technical foul, you're ejected. Technical foul. Double tech, automatic ejection. Drop off your jersey and hit the showers. Goodbye. Hey, it wasn't my idea to show up in the first place, Pancakes. You're the one that remembered something. Want to know what it was? You were in the 10th grade, washing your jeans. Your dog had just been run over by your neighbor. And you were thinking that the world was shit and people were done better. And now you're looking around this bar for someone who's probably done better too. I mean, it must take a certain kind of cretin to sneak into hell, right? And now you're standing there, wondering if you're any better. Actually, I was just wondering if I still had those jeans. You do still have those jeans. They're in your closet. On top of the wish chest you prayed on to shrink to Block inches. her out, Lola. Block her out, Lola. Come on. She's, a, she's an undigested piece of cheese, right? A, a momentary mental disorder. Look, whatever. Just make sure you pick the right gal, local H. I couldn't bear to watch Father Christmas add more time to your sentence for wrongful prosecution. Hmm, so where did she go? Don't say anything, I'm fine. I really think we should go after Greg, try to get a confession. I don't know. Eliza seemed weirder to me. We could split up. We're not splitting up. We're in a bar in hell. Just pick one. You want Eliza, I think Greg. Want to talk more to Greg? Right, let's go and speak to uh, Greg. Greg made up that whole bullshit story. I really don't think we should let him get away. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Nice to, nice to meet you. All right, well, hope your instincts are sharp. Take the reins. She's actually leaving the bar. Where the fuck's Greg? Oh, there he is. So yeah, the reason why I'm picking Greg is because I think when he said he was like the, the fucking best guy on earth and all that, that's bullshit where she said she was from Shrewsbury and I know that's a real place. So. Hey, uh, Greg. Uh-huh. What is it? Do I have toilet paper on my shoes again? Want to watch the game on TV? Want to watch the, uh, the... Actually, what the hell are they playing on TV? Oh, it's, uh, it's like American football, but, uh, Hell's version. So it's just a little better for everyone involved. Look, I'm at the point of the evening where I'm either getting on the expressway to drunken idiocy land, or I'm taking the slow boat to my apartment filled with human-sized cockroaches that watch bad sitcoms in the common area all night. So if, uh, I don't know, you want to play, like, a drinking game or something? Yes. Yes, let's, let's do that. Yeah? Want to do it? You versus me? 
I'm a championship drinker. Okay, boy, I'm a championship level drinker. I am a. Uh, I have drunk enough drinks to. Yeah, when you talk, it's hard to put liquids down your mouth. So just meet me at the table. Get him nice and liquored up, and he'll spill his guts. Hopefully not literally. You better really hope not literally, because if I get entrails on my favorite overalls, I'm taking it out on your ass. I've just realized, look, he's he's drinking the same stuff as us. Right, so what 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 do you think will be handy? Cheese ball. Liquid courage. I really don't know what what, what to use here. Cheese ball. Small batch rye whiskey. Man, I ain't got a fucking clue, son. Come Let's just bang, go with bang, this. Please. Fill bang, the bang bang, bang off. Coming up. Has that actually filled us up? Yes, it has. Right, come on, let's go. I wish you didn't have to watch them serve a drink every fucking time. How are we, mate? Like, yeah, as I was saying before, I appreciate that they've got text and um, animations and stuff for everything, but at the same time, sometimes you just want to play the fucking game. All right, you know how to play, right? Drink them, rack them, stack them. Highest, fastest, ladder to God wins. I got outdrank by a blacksmith who cheated his knights once. Game, Game on, on, baby. First quarter, hit the buzzer, start the clock. Come on. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Got your glass? To bad decisions. Yes. To bad decisions. To yeah. bad decisions. Ready, set, get wrecked. Fuck my doing here. I'm gonna be honest, this is not a good look. At the, what what the fuck? Alright, okay. Pick up the pace, Lola. Yeah, oh fuck. You're winning. Man, why are you so good at this? Come on, baby. Oh, you cock, you cock sucker! Come on, baby, I've got to win this. Right, Lola, <gasps> you fucking won, you motherfucker! Try again. Just try again now, or maybe come back later. I don't. That was again. hard. That like. Okay, let's do it. Ready, set, get wrecked. At least I know what I'm doing now. I'm gonna be holding your hair back at some point tonight, aren't I? Yeah. Come on, let's get fucking mortal, son. Oh, you son of a cocksucker. Yeah, Lola, you're ahead. This is so hard. <gasps> come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. Oh, it's so sensitive. Whoa. Yeah, suck my dick. Good, uh, good game, man. Good. God, I miss that 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 feeling of of not giving a shit, you know? Of how much I'm, I, I you, know, you can't do it as as hard when you're well, when I'm alive, well, because of the medication. What medication? Musculoskeletal. Yeah, yeah, that's how Doctor Slater, that's how she said it, pronounced every syllable. But whatever, man, you know, whatever. We're we're all we all got a fucking hourglass over our heads, you know? We're all, we're all running on God's time, God's plan. Hey. I'm I'm on the clock here too. Eh, gonna run out soon. <laughs> how do you even do it? How did you even? How did you get here? So what what, what, what are you talking about here? Like a portal, a ritual, sitting in a real cold car for an hour? What? I got a I got a confession to make. I'm not 33. I'm 29. But I know I'm like dead at 33, like Christ and the fat guy from Blues Brothers. That's what Doctor Slater said. And and I know I'm going to hell, you know? I, I, you don't go to the other fucking place by being a pain in the ass like I've been. I never call my mom back, and, and I don't <laughs> talk to my sisters. They don't deserve that, right? But I, I like to test the waters by ODing on my prescriptions every once in a while. Just to see what the long haul here will, will be like. That they is always, awesome. They always bring me back. Eh, it's not as hard as it looks. You just gotta, gotta measure it out. 
That's pretty. I'll say, what if you mess it up? Well, what if you, what if you mess up, man? You can't mess up dying, little girl. You can only mess up, uh, mess up living. And like your bathroom, if you miss your toilet. I know they're looking for me. I've, I've done too much shit here. You guys are cool, right? You're, you're not gonna turn me in, are you? I mean, that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be kosher. Not that, not that I know if I'm using that word right. We're turning you in. Nope. <laughs> we need to get the hell out of Dodge, buddy. And you, you picked the wrong prom night. You done you fucked say? up, son. We're turning his ass in, Milo. I don't give a damn what his sob story is. We all got one. And yours is, you tried to outdrink the wrong fucking girl. <laughs> Whatever. Let's see what campus security is gonna do. See you guys. Well, see you guys never. Because, you know, whatever. Right, come on. We sorted him out. He's running. Get him. Get him. Where's our friend? It was Greg. No, no, no. I'm, I, I got two. Hey, how's it going? Any luck catching that creep? Because believe me, I am ready for my shift to be over. You know? It's Greg. Yeah, he's a guy named Greg. <laughs> so, you know how that goes. Greg? I was expecting, like, Samuel or something, but <laughs> don't ask me why. Maybe because that's my brother's name? Yeah, best not to think about it. Going right, so? Apartment. Yeah, oh, hi, Jenny. Hi, uh, how you doing? Yeah, good, good. Anyways, we found the Waldo. <laughs> yeah, it's been a night. <laughs> a meat pile named Greg. He's in Feisty's right now. Did they get him? Took longer than I thought it really did. <laughs> Thanks. Say hi to a Dramalek for me. Okay, bye. Shit, I forgot he left her for his podiatrist. Uh, what'll happen to, uh... Oh, nothing much. They'll probably take him and give him a stern talking to, you know, right before condemning them to eternity in the Ninth Circle. Eh, they'll be hacked into infinite pieces by multi-limbed feathered serpents who do not fuck around, let me tell you. I've seen him in action. Woo! You <laughs> a little bit harsh. When you go down there for lunch, isn't that punishment a little disproportional to the um, crime? Not really. They've seen what shouldn't be seen by living eyes. God really does not appreciate frauds of any sort. You know, it's uh, it's kind of a whole thing with him. Thanks a lot, guys. This is such such a big help. Uh, I know you did it just for the invite, but when you get to the party, we should get that drink you promised me you would have with me. Down. Good? Definitely. Yeah, most definitely. You helped us out here, like, more than you can imagine. What the fuck? Are you, are you serious? How could you, motherfuckers? Just, uh, just pretend you can't hear him. I can hear you <laughs> pretending you don't hear me, you giant asshole. I'm Got you, bitch. I'm here. All right, get out of here, you knuckleheads. <laughs> just, uh, drop my name at the entrance and I'll let you in. Thanks again, guys. That's what happens when you fuck with him. Awesome, so now we've got we've got the tickets. We've got the tickets. Let's go. Let's go and see Lucifer. What happened there? What? So should we like talk about what just You know Milo, I I just don't want to. Okay? I'm gonna take a mulligan on this one. I just I don't wanna think about it, so I'm just not. There are some things that are just beyond. Like I I really like chocolate milk i really like it and i and i donated a lot of my time to homeless shelters and animal shelters and money to organizations and so fuck it okay i'm gonna enjoy my chocolate milk without any pontificating about how the cows are sad and the workers are sad and the truckers that ship it are sad and how the agricultural industry is fucked up in countless ways and and so i i'm just i i am chocolate milking this uh we did it though uh, we kind of did this, though. Chocolate milking it. Okay. I've got no idea what that bitch is going on about chocolate milk, but I like chocolate milk, so I'll let her off. Right, let's go. Where is she? Wait, before you go, it's time for your review. What? Um, psychological assessment or bumblefeed personality quiz. You know, whatever you want to call it. 
You intentionally chose to track somebody down for an unknown and vague punishment instead of genuinely helping a poor soul like Linda, who is, needless to say, now permanently affixed to an eternal misery due to your direct actions. That's what she gets. Either you thought this sounded more fun, or Milo likes to just blindly follow Lola around. Which, either way, I mean, I always liked Witchfinder General too. So. My plan worked out. Hey, Dick Salt, <laughs> the plan worked out. We're we're going to Satan's party. Okay, so you heeded the call of justice, but was justice served? Yes. It was. Get well, in. Sort of. You picked Greg, who was the hereafter infiltrator. Of course, now he'll never see his family, friends, or help solve the world's energy crisis. I hope it was worth the free house party passes. If you get back, I'd start rationing your clean water. Quite Listen, did the crime, mate? Hey, Greg did do the, the crime, time. do the time. Okay, and if you can't do the time, don't exactly. the slime. What? No, that isn't... Okay. Factoid time! I thought you might want to know what's going on in the land of the living. So while you were busy accomplishing this very important mission instead of, you know, getting your ass off the fucking couch and contributing to society in any sort of meaningful way, a million pounds of chicken nuggets were consumed! Which means half a million pounds of dog food, since, well, that's what chicken nuggets are for the most part. Uh, really? As long as it tastes good, it doesn't matter. Six people died. In their entire lives, only 47 non-consecutive hours of true happiness was felt among them. <laughs> How sad. Wormhorn. And, of course... Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> These are out of order. Wormhorn. Oh, you won the drink-off! You alcoholic loser! Who the hell is good at this stupid shit? Get a life! <laughs> Why are you doing this? I can just guess out here. Get the hell out of here, Wormhorn. We need to get on with our night before it's over. So, <sighs> fine, whatever. I'll text you. I'll talk to you later. This is actually pretty good for replayability because you could probably do this game again, and I think you're gonna probably get two choices for for most of the things you want to do. I doubt they'll probably op they might open it up to three choices each. But you could go on an alternative playthrough and see the game from a different aspect. Although you'll probably still get the same outcome. I, I quite like it. Hey, baby. Someone order a ferry? How did it uh, go with Bella? Um, fine, I guess. We got the... Nailed it. So, yay. Why the long face? Personal demon dragging you down? Listen, just remember, those things are like car sickness. And sometimes you just need to deal with it to get to the mall, you know? Just keep your eyes on the horizon. It'll go away on its own. Anyways, I saw that janitor, or whatever, post on Vicar. He gave you his invite, didn't he? Yep, we got the invite. We can go to Satan's party without standing in line for a million years. How proud of us are you right now? Uh, not proud at all. I barely know you and care even less. But want to head to Welcome Way? See about that party? Let's do it. Chicka chicka wow, chicka wow, chicka chicka wow. Welcome Way, let's do it. I'm about to get freaky at this party. I'm a, I'm a shake that ass. I think the reason why the the lad, the guy in the Every yellow top, what's it called, Milo? The reason he's in hell is because he's an this absolute girl, melt. This should be one of your favorite days, I think. A, uh, camel and she's in hell for leading them on. A VIP invitation to Sane's house party. That's uh, you guys are doing, you're doing well. You, you're doing good. I don't have any poppers or noisemakers, so hopefully the ride, in my genuine amazement, will suffice. You did help us. Hey, I mean, we couldn't have done it without your help, Sam. You were the steed to our to our gallant knights. Yeah, and a uh, word of advice, if you make it back topside, maybe don't talk like that at your first job interviews. Oh yeah, when we get back, we'll be like adults. Oh, a little nervous about rolling over from Miss and Mister to Ma'am and Sir. And uh, depending on your income level, either having to read train schedules or caring about the estate tax. No, it's it's not it's not leaving school so much as Milo and I have known each other forever. Yeah, like genuinely forever. We got paired up in preschool because we were the last pick in the buddy system. And while Milo's staying in town to help his mom in her magic shop, Lola's moving across the country to live with her dad. 
Sounds like you guys are just erupting with excitement over all the new opportunities afforded by your continued cellular reproduction. Absolutely. Yes, Absolutely. Absolutely. Without a doubt. So, completely switching topics. Satan's party, huh? Very exciting. Top shelf. Roman Coliseum, Yang Zoo on opium. Mother, don't look at these pictures. Stuff. The way that we I want to meet the voodoo dolls, kids. I tell the hunt. Anyone that'll be answering is too busy getting their nipples twisted. Come with us. Why don't you take a break and join us? Make it a true I'm party. Not that long. Well, if you find an extra invite, we'll just. Uh... I'm not exactly the partying type, kids. I drink alone, or with one other person. I guess fair enough. Ooh, drinking alone—that's a slippery slope. All right, candleflies, have fun. You know, enjoy yourselves. Thanks. And uh, before you scamper off, two things, okay? One. Sam, sorry. Are you are you on tonight? Are you? Where are you headed? Six circle. Lucifer didn't show up for the inspection last. Now I gotta make sure the stone coffins are being heated properly. Like I don't have enough poop to worry about. Yeah, seems like it's a death style now. Satan didn't show up for work. Wait, Satan didn't show up for work? Wider ganger, sweat cooker of infidels. This is Milo and Lula. So fuck with Satan and Lucifer yeah, are the same person. Congratulations. I'm foreman down at the coffin mines in the city of Death. And no, he didn't. Even though we had the appointment at 11, so he could sleep in. Anyways, can you help me out? I know it's out of the way. Yeah, I'll give you a ride. Great, thanks. I'd swim, but the lava starts hurting if you're in it for two. Sam, long. what's your two things? Wait, Sam, what were your two things? Uh, two pieces of advice? Was I gonna give you two? That seems excessive. <laughs> How about one? I'll give you one. Do you want to hear the first thing I was gonna say, or the second? The uh, first. Sorry, we just ran out of time for both. This washing bear. Uh, the first. Don't worry so much about the future. You know. It's not gonna be what you expect anyway, and you know, you're here now. So just focus on that while you still have your shoes on. Um, okay. Text me if you need to ride somewhere. What the fuck's that advice gotta do with the price of milk? Right, doesn't matter, come on, we're going to a party. Even though he's not uh, gonna be here. What do you think Sam meant by that? Uh, don't think about the future. That was kinda weird, right? Live in why, the now. Why not think about the future? It's the future. Don't worry about what you can't control, that's excellent, that's exactly She's right. She's saying that we shouldn't worry about stuff you can't control, like earthquakes or a comet crashing into the Pacific Ocean or whether or not you'll get grey hair or lose your ability to blink or whatever. It's not gonna be what we expect. It's the same shit everyone over 47 says to anyone under 27. Huh. Yeah, I guess so. Weird that she'd even care enough to, uh, to say anything. Like, that's the thing, like, I, I generally don't care about shit like that i don't get worried about things i just what's gonna what's out of my control is out of my control there's no point in worrying about it like my lass constantly worries about death and i'm just like why are you bothered about dying when you're dying you're fucking dead you're gone gone blackness end of story and aside from keeping yourself relatively safe in what you're doing if you're gonna get hit by a bus that randomly goes up the pavement while you're walking it just Fuck all you can do about it, unless you stay in the house, but then what type of life is that to be scared to go out? Don't be scared to go out. Embrace death. One is scared it's coming. To hustle it's hustle coming for us all. Straight to Lucifer's. Yes. Satan, Satan please. please. Alrighty. Watch your, your knees there. Okay. All in. Great. And the thing is, right? If you if you do worry about death, there's two ways you can go. One is the fast way, when you, you die and you don't even know that you're dying because you either get one ad shot, stabbed on the street, knocked over by a bus, dead, blood ad, push in seconds. Or there's the one where you're slowly dying. And when you're slowly dying, you're slowly getting worn out and ground into the ground into the ground with less energy. And the only thing you'll be wishing for then is like, I can't wait for death to come. So either way, it's not, it's not a bad thing. It's coming for us all, baby. Better embrace it. Got my ticket, bitch. please. Uh, yeah, we're on the list, I, th I think. Lola Wolf for Fella. He's a little demon security guard. Next. Um, Milo? I'm under the, the, the same uh, thing. Okay, move along. There's party favors in the back, but don't open his fridge. Ooh, we we've got to open the fridge. I guess all that's left is for us to uh, enter the party. 
Yes, entering the Lord of Darkness's party is what we are here to do and what we will do. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're here for a thing and we're going to do the thing. Yes, Come on, don't exactly. worry about the future. We'll be fine. So, after you. This better be jumping. Better jaw button. Pump, pump, pump it up. Um. Is this Satan's house where the where the party's at? Oh shit. Uh, someone wanna get that? Oh, it's my house. <laughs> Hello, you've reached the home of Jean, Barbara, and Milo. Please leave a message with a name and number, and we'll get back to you when we can. Man alive, Milo. Your old man sounds very, very serious. Okay, Sister Mary Worm, asshole. Ha ha. This is my old kitchen. Great, I get it. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you. Your memory was a little fuzzy. So I had to cobble parts of it together from Marshall Field's display set circa 1992. Oh, bravo. Oh my God. It's Where's the damn party worm horn? You know, the whole reason that we're here? Just give it a minute. Give it a minute. Let me do this. It'll take a sec. Lights? No, the other lights. Golly gee, it's a regular old nuclear family with two and a half kids. Minus two of them. Now, when you hear the beep, we all say our names, and that's it. Oh, fine. Wait, who cares shh, about... Shh, 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 shh. Hey, you've reached Jean. Barbara. And I'm Marty the Magnificent. Stop. Say your real name. <sighs> Don't do anything else but say your name. So you wanted to be called Marty the Magnificent when you were, like, Marty, six? Marty, Owen, oh, Duke, for a week there. Uh, there was the Summer of Charlie. Yeah, so what? It took a while for me to get used to... To like Milo, okay? This is the seventh try. Oh, he's his mother's son. He's as flighty as Chuck. You realize this kind of stuff is going to keep you from making friends, right? You have to be comfortable being yourself, not pretending to be something you're but not. But Marty the Magnificent is who I want to be. And Lola's my friend. Lola's a girl. A girl can't be your friend. Do you understand the difference? Fancy. It is a complicated relationship, okay, Mary? What do you want from me? It wasn't some TV show version of whatever. It's not a big deal that it wasn't perfect. He saved you from humiliation. So his dad's a little old-fashioned. It's harsh, but he sort of saved you a bit from getting made fun of. Yeah, and he did it by making fun of me himself. Great trade-off. This is all extremely obvious psycho babble bullshit, Wormhorn. So I don't see eye to eye with my father. That's like a rule hardwired into every animal's DNA. I think even hamsters get into arguments over who gets the last piece of chicken. Mm, maybe. Or maybe he regretted getting you in the divorce instead of his daughter. Oh, because shit, she's son. a proper lady. And you, Milo, are many things, but a proper man isn't one of them. True, true. Fuck off. Ignore her, Milo. Oh, I didn't say anything. I don't have to man up to myself. Lola, where? I, I think I need to stop protecting him. Way, you wanted to see the carnival. But we're here now, and you're gonna hit the damn target. Throw the ball and dunk the clown. We're not leaving until you do. Dunk me, Milo. Dunk me. Throw the ball. Wait, how do I do this again? Me. Oh shit, that was terrible. Christ, lean in. Move closer. Dad, will you just lay off? I'm trying. Don't embarrass your family in front of all these people. Right, come on, I've got this. I've got it. Boosh, you bitch. Son, come off. This isn't how I taught you. Throw from the shoulder. Follow through. I don't care what you think. Although, he, he, he is teaching his son well. But I don't care what you think, mate. You know what? Screw this. I don't care what you think. I really don't. And screw you, Wormhorn. My dad, he's not the best. But he's not this total fucking monster you make him out to be. And also, give the guy a damn break. He works like a dog and doesn't speak English that well. Oh, you know, I was gonna try that, but it was super racist sounding. And, you know, <laughs> there are limits. Hey, Milo! Is that you in here? Lola, he's in here! Milo, Jesus! 
Who are you, uh, talking to? I thought there were two of you. Oh, uh, one of you and somebody else? A oh, personal demon? My personal demon, Sister Mary Wormhorn. Oh, yeah. Oh, those things can be real ass -wipes. Milo, oh, God, I'm so sorry. I turned around and it was... I saw a witch doing a keg stand, and God, I didn't know where you were. Are you doing okay? It's fine. I handled it. Uh, no, it's it's fine. I handled yeah, it. Yeah, you uh, you look you look good. So you know, there's something I wanted to mention, right? Oh, fuck! Everyone's chatting shit. You guys made it. Hey, I was uh, you know, I was I was waiting by the little blue train. Uh, you've been having a good time tonight, fella. I have had a yeah, you know, a few. I have. It's been a. It's been a rough. Right, hold on. Right, so there's something I wanted to mention, right? The demon at the start said, um, "You should. You should be comfortable being yourself, and you shouldn't not be yourself." I disagree with that. I think you should most definitely be comfortable with who you are, but you also need to be comfortable with being somebody that you're not, because you can get a lot of places in this life by pretending to be something that you're not. Not necessarily stretching the truth beyond reality, but if you know you need to go somewhere and you need to be confident and you're not feeling confident, fucking ace that shit. Bad boy it to fuck. And just go in, pretend you're somebody that you're not. Be confident, nail it, and then just, just be who you wanna be. Because sometimes you need to be something outside of your comfort zone and become comfortable with it to fucking nail life. That's what it is. Definitely be comfortable with who you are, but you need to have the ability to be something that you're not. Not necessarily at that point in time. But then again, by being something that you're not makes you that something because you've practiced it. So that might just lead on to something else that practice makes perfect. So yeah, fuck it, do it. You know, Dean Bodice? The guy that called that, you Felicia? Yeah, he, he told his goal director that he cut the interloper, Greg. That it was all, that, that it was all him. The he bastard. stole all my fucking, all the thunder. We can vouch for you, mate. Thunder. Hey, no, we can, we should totally vouch for you. We can tell him, or, or her. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's, fine. it's totally fine. Fella, come on. We... And the, the thing of it is, Bodice, he and I, we used to be good friends, you know? We were just good friends. The, the best friends. I'd drive him to the airport. He'd give my ex-wife free mammograms. And then you just you just keep living, I guess. You just you just keep living. Come on, bro, right, you're alright. Listen up, detectives. Hip to take my oh okay, wait, dead. Here, listen. Don't trust nobody. Don't care for nobody. Act like you care for nobody. Fella. You're just gonna end up some poor, undersized for his sex demon. Sucking hell whiskey out of goddamn ashtrays. Remember that. And remember where I parked my, my scooter for me. Mate, I'd totally I give you a good woman. Don't worry about it. Oh, poor guy. That's a shame. Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna poor do. Guy. That sucks. I feel so I, I, bad for him. Wait, every time I say something, this girl copies off what I'm saying. He'll cheer up. Uh, well, hopefully he just keeps drinking and makes a turn to a, a happy drunk. <laughs> Everybody into the blood pool. Pants off, dance off. <laughs> Whatever, let's just go find Satan and drink him under the table and get back home. We don't know what he looks like. Well, I'm sure he'll stick out. I like the part where he said pants off. I'm there, baby. Okay, what I'll do is I want to call it an episode there when we come back. We're going to see if we can find Satan at this party. Okay, lads. Hope you enjoyed the episode. This episode has actually been good because we've been doing stuff. And the characters... I like the characters. I like that demon we've met. And I wonder if we didn't do the job for the demon, would we be at the party with the human girl instead and have her problems instead of his problems? It's a mystery. And I shall see you in the next episode. In a bit, lads.